Afghanistan's future grows increasingly uncertain as years of foreign aid and intervention come to an end. In the jostling for money and power, competing forces are fighting to control the wealth buried deep in the country's Hindu Kush mountains. That wealth is precious rubies, which fetch a handsome sum when smuggled across the border. I'm Steve Chow. On this edition of 11 East, we look at the lives of Afghan ruby miners who are risking it all, chasing crystal dreams. Jagdalek, a remote village in Afghanistan's rugged Hindu Kush mountains. Life here is Spartan. There is no electricity, no communications, no sanitation, and all roads in threatened by kidnappers and Taliban. Each day is governed by the most basic routines, accessing the meager water supply, growing enough crops to feed their families, herding sheep in a barren environment. Survival alone is hard and uncompromising. The people sustained by a strong and conservative belief in their faith, Islam. While everyday life here is impoverished, in these barren mountains there are also promises of immense wealth buried deep within the earth. Afghanistan's vast mineral reserves remain inaccessible after decades of war. Yet its precious gems are legendary. The Jagdaleki ruby has been sought by royalty and the rich across the world for centuries. The precious, high-grade, blood-red stone surpassing the world's best. But tribal laws and customs have kept prospectors out. Ruby mining remains a tradition practiced by only a few established families. I've come to Jagdalek to meet some of the miners who stake their futures on chunks of rock clawed out of the earth. Rocks that have changed the fortunes of some, but for others, remain a distant dream. This is unforgiving terrain. During the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan, Jagdalek became a battleground between Soviet Red Army troops and the Afghan Mujahideen, many of whom were local miners. Occasionally, Unexploded bombs still turn up here. And despite extensive demining, landmines still pose a threat. The miners who dig through this arid earth seem indifferent to the dangers. For them, the dream of finding that one mother load trumps all. However, fulfilling that dream can be elusive. Mining rubies in one of the world's most volatile regions means sharing both risks and bounty. Walat Khan is a humble miner, dependent on his boss for his daily subsistence, everything from his meat to his meager income. Pakistan Walat's boss Javed also spent time working in Pakistan before returning home. Pakistan ke padi usi do dal ta inkilab aur usi ano jangu munga mal ta paydas pa mal ta usi dalu. Jisi nam kare thele ya mal ta prato mal ta paydas siyu. Was Taliban ukmat se mung raaklu ya kalba Taliban ukmat orans. Us was kalji ukmat shurona. Allah 
displacement has taken its toll on the people of Jagdalek, reducing life to its bare minimum. Routines shape every aspect of a miner's day. It is a hope shared by the mine's owner, Javed, who has worked his way up from the bottom. For Javed, it may be pleasurable work, but for the miners under Javed's charge, every descent into the underworld is potentially fatal. The shafts, dug laboriously by hand, may hold the promise of extraordinary wealth, but getting to it means risking everything, a risk Willot and the other miners are willing to take. Wilat and his co-workers toil all day in these airless shafts. Pneumatic drills were only introduced a few years ago. Before that, they relied solely on explosives, pickaxes, and raw muscle power to blast through solid marble, excavating shafts up to 100 meters deep. The drills have made the work marginally easier, but not much safer. <laughs> Close calls like Wilat's are common, but here they come with the territory. <laughs> Thank you.
Today, Willat is working with his friend Zermai. Five kilometers south of Jagdilek is the ragtag mining village of Sapar. Families there can trace their mining pedigree back at least 500 years. For the people of Sapar, it's in their blood. Every aspect of life, from birth to grave, revolves around it. Now, the Taliban have wrested Sapar away from the Afghan government, making it a no-go zone for outsiders. Families like Zermai's must pay the Taliban for permission to work the mine, but they do it reluctantly. Javed is immune to these dangers. He plays both sides, maintaining a good relationship with the Taliban by running supplies for them while helping the police keep a line of communication open with their adversaries. It's a fine balance that has helped him rise quickly from a lowly driver to a successful mine owner, but not without its own risks. This area is a strategic focal point in Afghanistan. Taliban forces have gathered in strength and numbers, controlling Sapar. Jagdalek has resisted the charge, so far. But time is running out, as the Taliban push ever closer. We join Javed on one of his mine inspections near Sapa, visiting a tent full of mine workers. We are told later that this man in the center is a Taliban fighter. He's at the mines to negotiate the Taliban's cut from the rubies. He's angry about our presence in the area, and despite Javed's attempts to mediate, we are forced to leave. But the people of Sapar say the Taliban are less of a burden than the government officials who charge twice the amount for access to the mines. Any money paid in bribes is income lost for the miners, a painful sacrifice considering the risks they face and the scant payoff. But it is the dream that drives them, the hope of fabulous riches lying buried, like Aladdin's cave, waiting to be discovered. Meanwhile, Walat and Zermai have a dangerous task to complete. <laughs> Good <laughs> 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 
دغه سورنګ سمنګ ډکو دی نو مونږ ته خطر هم پیښیږي او کله چې یو دم راوچ او لګي خام خام مونږ زوبلی ګو دا تیګ دوم راوړي چې ډیره پاواس دی ډیره جګه سی ی مرد چه اسم است که آپل کالی میوکاست که مرسو تیر مخی کال کی میوکاست مرسو آخر میگانو که مرسو بس سی پوره دیسی بیا بله نکی گینو مرد کو دختر ایلاس که دا او کاری دیر سخت دیر لگن خطریم دا سالی ریزگیانتی مرد سر لوگا دا For Javed, mishaps have the potential of collapsing his entire business. Mining bosses are always on the edge of financial ruin, investing heavily in a mine with their own money and gambling on striking it rich. <laughs> بس دا کومه سیمو مادن کې اخیستې وې او ساغه لګي او مصرف وې په کې دینه بعد چانس پیدا شي راوزي او مصرف په کې کې به مصرف نه کې کې اوس شپږ ډالې دي هر ډالې سي کم اس کم سیم دي میاستې یو لک روپی مصرف لري او د سو خرازي بعضې وخت دو میاستې نه یو میاستم نه او د پراولین زل د سیډیر وخت و تا ته میاستې وته مته یو کوت نه وي بس चार बार क्या कुछ जी काम हो टीम के खर्च हो रोजाना उधर मजदूरी ना सकता मजदूरी मादन के सोच कार ना की अपल किस्मत जंगे सी या बुई सी या बोने सी रिस्किंग ऑल ऑन चांस साउंड्स एक्सट्रीम येट द माइनर्स इन जैक डिलेक सीम डिटरमिन्ड टू द पॉइंट ऑफ अब्सेशन ये वो बल कार पन ना की दादी की मार कार द बस मंगा بس بعضی وقت که با مادن بند سده دغه دی کرزی حکومت که نو دلتا با پوستا و بیاله چه بند تاتی با مادن بند و مونگ با بیاده شپی پرت لو پغلا بنده بیا با مونگ دی شپی کار که و خو علاق هم خو زکم دی شپی کار که و یا کت و تل مزدوری که ولا او بعضی خال که سیوه بنده بنده خو بیا می والار من گل سره نیست و یا یو پیسی ور که یو کارو که باستی سی بند چی سو کپین کری سو که پاسال کاری سو کلار سی مزدوری تا بالا مزدوری و کیار دام پارک کارو کی و بال کارو کی و بیام دست نکی نیو مزدوری کی نگاش چیر تا کی روبی مایننگ ویدوت ا لایسنس از باند ان جگدلک بیکاز دی گورنمنت ویوز دی ماینز از ناشنال ویلث بات ان 2005 دی لاست تایم دی کارزای گورنمنت ترید انفورسینگ دی باند ایت واز ا دیزاستر When I traveled to the region in 2007, I saw the effect. Opium cultivation in Jagdalek had skyrocketed. Miners turning in their pickaxes for plowshares and courting drug traffickers to survive. <laughs> Whether they grow opium or mine rubies, the people of Jagdalek and Sapa rarely make their fortune. Even finding a valuable crystal is no guarantee of financial success. The trade here is cutthroat. Miners are easily swindled by the few buyers who can reach these isolated communities. Khyber Khan is a ruby trader from Peshawar, Pakistan. He has crossed the war-torn tribal areas 
and risk the dangers of one of the world's most volatile borders. All for a chance to meet Javed. For miners like Javed, traders are the lifeline to the outside world. For buyers like Kyber, going to the source means a chance at making a life-changing deal. The traditional bargaining process involves buyers and sellers negotiating a price using a complex set of finger grasping. Both sides argue over the crystal's potential value, but neither really knows what that might be. Destiny has smiled on international traders and wealthy buyers who can afford the steep prices Jagdalaki rubies fetch around the world. But the miners are left with the crumbs. But Afghanistan's future looks bleak. Foreign troops are exiting, leaving behind a security vacuum easily filled by the Taliban. The years ahead promise little more than war and continuing instability. Like parents everywhere, the miners place their hopes on their children. The future, they say, belongs to them. But in the meantime, this is the fate they have resigned themselves to, chasing crystal dreams.